Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to jump into today's video and show you guys what I've been experimenting with. I finally got around to trying some silicone freshening molds. So if you guys are excited to see me try these, keep watching. So for those of you that don't know, these have been around for quite some time, but they are just now gaining a little bit of traction as more and more people are discovering them. I've wanted to buy these for several months, but I could just never justify the cost of these compared to the metal tin cookie cutters. So from what I have found, I found a bunch of silicone freshie molds all over online, and they ranged anywhere from about $15 to $35 depending on the size and the shape, the popularity of that design. But typically speaking, the tin metal cookie cutters that you would normally use for your freshies, I have purchased mine anywhere from a dollar to $5. So in comparison, the metal ones are obviously cheaper than the silicone ones because they are cheaper and easier to make, I'm assuming. I can't imagine that silicone is super cheap to work with. So I completely understand the small businesses price points because of that but I finally decided that it was worth the money I was so tired of every time I pulled out my car freshies there would be melted aroma beads on my cookie sheet that melted underneath the cookie cutter and that was just more that I had to trim off and as I'm sure you guys have experienced also whenever you are popping out your freshies from the metal tin cookie cutters they can obviously get bent as you're trying to pop them out and it is almost impossible to get them completely level and flat again once you have bent them in the slightest way. So because of that, I went ahead and bought a couple of these just to try out to see how I like them. And if I'm in love with them, then I will continue to buy these because I think these will last longer. They are obviously going to be easier to use as far as popping out their freshies. They're not going to get bent or misshapen. And basically these bake just like any other silicone baking cake mold that you would use. These are heat resistant from 400 degrees to 500 degrees depending on the silicone that that small business used. So make sure you are paying attention to that in the description. I believe one of these is 400 and the other one is 450 degrees. But I don't know about you guys, I bake my freshies on 300 so I'm not anywhere near the maximum heat resistance. Okay guys, so for this craft, you're obviously going to need several things. You're going to need your unscented aroma beads, the fragrance choice of your choosing. I got this one from candlescience.com. They have some great scents, super high quality. And then to color your aroma beads, you'll need some mica pigment powders. For today's video, I am doing this Monstera leaf and I'm using this teal mica pigment powder. And then for this Highland Cow Car Freshie, I'm using a combination of brown and black together, just brown and then just pink. As you can see here, I've already mixed my beads up. These have already been curing for about a week now, so they are good to bake. Um, but this is about what it should look like in your jar. So for every three ounces of unscented beads, you're gonna wanna do a tablespoon of your fragrance oil and then a pinch of your mica pigment powder. The more mica pigment powder you put in, the more vibrant your color will be. But if you put too much, it could affect the way your freshie bakes. So just be careful at how much you're using. And then today, instead of using our typical tin metal cookie cutters, we are gonna be trying out these silicone freshie molds. Now I got two different silicone molds to show you guys. So this one, you'll notice that it is completely flat on the inside, there's no detail or anything. So our freshie is gonna be solid, it's not gonna have detail, it's just gonna be in this beautiful monstera leaf shape. But with this Highland Cow, you'll notice that there's detail in the bottom of the mold. So if I bend it here, Maybe I can show you guys a little bit better. So you see how some of it is kind of raised and some of it's kind of flat. So I'm gonna put the darker brown beads in the lower part of the mold. And then I'm gonna put the regular brown beads on top of that. And then the pink beads are gonna be where the nose is. But it's supposed to just make it more like three dimensional and give it some more detail without you painstakingly placing your beads like to make a design in a freshie like we normally would with a metal cookie cutter. So I think these are gonna be an awesome game changer because we're gonna have some gorgeous, more detailed car freshies. 
And then you're gonna need a spoon to divvy out your beads into your molds. You're going to need a nail to create a hole for your elastic cord later. And then you're going to need a baking sheet to put the silicone molds on to put them in your convection oven. All right guys, so let's get started. Okay guys, so like I said, I already have some scented beads that have been curing for about a week now. But if you haven't done that step, you would take three ounces of your unscented aroma beads, pour in one tablespoon of your fragrance oil of your choice, then add a pinch of mica powder, depending on what color you're wanting your freshie to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this Monstera leaf first, just because I think it's gonna be easier because I don't have to worry about any fine details or anything like that. So I set my nail in there and that's just going to create a hole for us where we're going to string our freshie later. Now these are really deep molds. So I don't think I'm going to fill these all the way up to the top like I normally would with my metal cookie cutters because my metal cookie cutters are typically not even a full inch in depth. So I think I will just fill these up like three quarters of the way. Now this is the first time that I'm using these types of silicone molds. The only other silicone mold I used before with Freshies are the round like baking ones that you would use for like miniature cakes or something. Um, when I did that round car Freshie video with the cardstock design in the middle, those were the only silicone molds I've ever used for Freshies. So this is my first time using these. So I can already tell that the beads kind of stick to the silicone because it's silicone, everything sticks to silicone. So I am kind of going back through and pressing them down because I don't want them to be like hung up on the sides and then there's not beads all the way down to the bottom of the freshie. So now we're gonna do our cute little Highland cow. So like I said earlier, I did some brown aroma beads with just the plain brown mica pigment powder. And then I did some that were slightly darker. So this has a pinch of black and a pinch of that brown mixed together because I didn't want it to be completely black, but I didn't want it to be the same as that brown. I wanted it to kind of look like darker brown against it. And it's just slightly darker. So I think that's gonna be perfect. And then I have some very light pink and I'm talking, I barely did a pinch in these beads because I wanted the nose to be just a faint pink. Okay, so for this one, like I said, with this deeper part of the mold, I'm gonna put these darker beads. So this is like the most tedious part, I think but this is basically just gonna be adding some dimension to our freshies and some extra detail. And this color is only gonna be like on the top part of the freshie. Okay guys, so just like with all the other freshies, I have my oven set to 300 degrees. I'm going to bake these from anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Well, like I said, this is my first time doing these types of molds. So I will let you know what I ended up baking them exactly at. Hey guys, so it has been about 15 minutes. I've been checking on them like every two minutes since we hit the 10 minute mark. Um, just because I was so scared that they were gonna burn. So this is what they look like after 15 minutes. I think they are just now done. So we are going to let these cool for about 30 minutes and then I will demold them. All right guys, it has been a half hour. So our freshies are completely cool to the touch. So we are ready to demold them. So I'm just going to carefully kind of pull the edges away all the way around and then we'll pop it out. You don't wanna risk tearing your mold.
cheek. Look how beautiful. All right, now I'm going to loosen up the nail and push that through. Boom. So cute. All right, I'm really curious to see how this one turned out, especially because the nail was kind of sketchy. So we may have to drill a hole if this nail didn't work out. We'll just have to see. But again, I'm just pulling the sides away to loosen it. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. And the nail actually went all the way through. Okay, great. So let's loosen this. Yeah, so I definitely like that the darker brown is just slightly darker, but I think this would look fine if you did black aroma beads. It's just whatever your preference is, I think. But I think this looks great. I love the extra detail. So all I'm gonna do now is trim the sides because you can tell there's a bunch of sharp little edges here. So we're just gonna trim all that and then put our cord through. And if you wanted to add any decorations to your freshies, now is the time to do that. So I went ahead and plugged in my hot glue gun so it can heat up while we are trimming these freshies. So I have a pair of good sharp scissors here and I'm just going to go around and trim this freshie so that there are no spiky edges. This part is obviously optional. You don't have to do this. I just like the way the trim looks better because I just think it looks better. It looks more finished. Okay, so now our freshie is trimmed. So as you can see, there are not a lot of spikes anymore. It looks more finished. Now we are going to put our cord through. So I bought this off of Amazon and I just put the ends together like so, loop it around and make a knot. And then I'll just kind of pull it so that the knot is at the end of the string like so and pull tight so it doesn't come undone. And then we're gonna put it through like so. And I always like to put my string through before I decorate it, if you're decorating your freshies, just because some of the decorations will cover the hole or the string just a little bit and you don't wanna have to work around the decorations and risk messing those up. So now I have the string through, so I'm just going to put this through our loop and pull. And there we have our cord attached to our freshie. So now we are ready to decorate it. So you could do a lot with these. You could use puffy paint. You could tie some ribbon to it, hot glue a flower or a bow or a bandana. There are a bunch of different options that you could do with this. Today, just for the simplicity of this video, and because I think it's gonna look super cute, I'm going to be hanging this in my car. So I am going to make a leopard bow because I love leopard. So whenever I make the bows, I just kind of mess with it until I get it the way I want it to look. About like that, and then I will see how it's going to look on the freshie and then I will trim accordingly. Okay, so now that my hot glue is completely heated up, we can attach our bow. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of hot glue right here, right in the center underneath where our string is showing. And then I'm just going to push our bow down in there. And then I'm just gonna hold it there until the hot glue dries a little bit. There we go. And there you have it. There's our Highland cow. And now we're gonna trim our Monstera leaf. Okay, so now that we are done trimming our freshie, now we are ready to attach the cord just like before. And I always cut about 10 to 12 inches, depending on how heavy the freshie is going to be. I'll typically always do the 12 inches. So 
look at how adorable these freshies came out. I love these, they are so cute. And as you guys saw, the freshies came out of the molds super easily, so no issues there. And I love that, like with the West Highland cow, you just get that extra 3D effect that just shows the extra detail and dimension. I just think that is so cool. I definitely recommend looking into these, trying them out for yourself. They are definitely worth it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. And as always, I will link the small businesses that I used and I will also link all the supplies that I used in today's video. So with that being said, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. If you liked this video, please let me know that you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials.